What is up guys, it is Monday the 29th of May and let's take a look into the future because this is the tech week ahead. The big thing happening this week is Computex in Taipei running from the 30th of May through to the 3rd of June. Lots of computer companies are expected to announce stuff this week at Computex. For example, AMD are expected to announce Vega, their line of new GPUs on the 31st at an event being held at like 3am English time. I remember computer companies just expected to announce it stuff, whether it be sort of bots or Windows machines. For example, Asus kind of jumped the gun a bit and announced five new laptops, a smartphone, two all-in-ones, and a new display. This comes along with Asus's new mission statement, the edge of beyond. Is it just me or does it sound a, li a little bit... A little bit weird, like that doesn't make much, like does it make sense? I don't know. I have to say some of the laptops do look really interesting. The ZenBook Flip S is like the thinnest convertible and it's even thinner than a standard MacBook Pro. And on the subject of Pro you get the ZenBook Pro which comes with a Core i7, a terabyte worth of hard drive, 16 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 1050 Ti. Now I'll cover all of these in depth as well as the phone which is actually an AR smartphone. It's the new Asus ZenFone AR which features the whole Project Tango embedded in it so you can do AR stuff and it looks kind of cool but we will cover all of this in detail in the tech news roundup. Elsewhere Dell are holding an announcement but no one's quite sure what to expect. The thinking is that they might be announcing their new VR headset for the Windows holographic platform. If you recall back in October Microsoft announced that there'd be a bunch of VR headsets made specifically for Windows 10 that supported their holographic platform and would cost approximately 300 US dollars. They said that it will be announced soon but never said when and this could be a reasonable place to announce them. And also, Intel are expected to at least tease, if nothing else, the i9 chips as well as the new generation of chips. The 8th generation core chip dubbed Coffee Lake, which is... I, I need a lake full of coffee right now. Which is due later this year, not much to known about it, but you know, the i9 is the thing that really interests me at least, because there's also said to be a Ryzen 9, the whole 8 core 16 thread variety, which sounds awesome. Personally, I don't have major use for a Ryzen 9 chip. I'm thinking of upgrading my PC to Ryzen 7, which is good enough for me, considering this is more or less the heaviest thing I do. But who doesn't want just like really over the top raw power. We'll have to wait and see what else happens at Computex, but there are lots of companies there, lots of people attending as well, and there are a bunch of exhibitors, so expect there to be lots to talk about in Sunday's Tech News Roundup. And then finally, there's a second major announcement that I personally am really excited for. Tomorrow on May 30th, there's a big announcement expected. Now, this isn't a big announcement in the sense that, you know, Microsoft are announcing a new laptop, they announced the surfaces last week, those look really cool and all. This is being announced by a company from a person whose name you might not have heard of, but whose product you definitely know. Andy Rubin is one of the co-creators of Android and left Google back in 2013. Since then, he's recently been teasing the fact that he started a new company called Essential, and they are due to announce their new product tomorrow. If you go onto the Twitter page of Essential, there are currently two tweets, one saying, cool stuff coming soon, and then there's a second one, which is a tweet that was published a couple of days ago, that shows an image. This right here is the image. It's kind of blacked out, it's hard to tell what it is. However, messing with the levels, we can see that that little bit on the top looks kind of like a 360 camera. Now what we are expecting to see is a bezel-less display, as shown by this hand here, and if we switch back to that real quick, I really hope that the 360 camera on top right there, that, that I'm really hoping that's like, removable, and that, you know, it's, it's an add-on as opposed to that's the shape of the device, which is most likely what's going on. However, a bezel-less display on a phone, together with a 360 camera, sounds like a really cool idea. We'll have to wait and see what the specs are like, we have no idea currently. However, I am extremely excited, not only because it's Andy Rubin, because, you know, he seems like a pretty chill guy as the guy who, you know, co-created Android, but also because you know, it's, it's nice to see new people come up with their own ideas. I was always a big fan of OnePlus when they first emerged onto the scene because they were willing to do something different and new and innovative, even if it wasn't pushing the boundaries in technology. In OnePlus's case, they were pushing the boundaries of how low you could drop a price. 
And my hope is that Essential does the same thing, except in this case they're pushing the boundaries of technology with a 360 camera and the ultra-thin display bezels. I do want to quickly say, however, that, that that top bezel, that top corner bezel, is so slim that I expect there to be some extra bezel on the top, on the... But I expect there to be some extra bezel on the bottom, quite similar to how the Xiaomi Mi Mix does it, but, you know, that's, that's fine. Anyway guys, that is it for this week. If you liked it, make sure to click like. If you didn't, I'm not quite sure what you're doing here. Why are you... why have you sat through this entire video? You know what? That's that's fine. I have good news. You can click here to see the previous video, which you'll probably prefer. Click here to see a random video that YouTube thinks you'll really like. So do that, you'll love it. And if neither of those are your thing, click here to subscribe, because you'll most likely like a future video, such as our Tech News Roundup when we cover Computex, or anything else. We have lots of really cool stuff on its way. So make sure to click all of those buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.